Hi everyone, how are you doing? The first thing that I want to say is that this video is going to be completely in English because I already recorded a video talking about my pedal settings in Spanish last year. I'll leave you the link right here. And if you want to stay, just turn on the subtitles. Now, before I start, please remember that there's a giveaway going on. The Dramio Annual Membership Giveaway. Now, since I won the Online Personality Award, they allowed me to give you free Dramio for 30 days. So, in order to participate on this giveaway, all you gotta do is click on the link down there, start the trial. If you like it, you stay. If you don't, you can go. But that way, you can win a annual free membership from Dramio. So, if you win, you get an annual membership. If you don't, you get 30 days for free. With all of that being said, I'm here today to talk about my relationship with Pearl Drums and also to talk a little bit about how I set my pedals. Now, as many of you know, I broke my contract with Yamaha not so long ago. I am leaving Yamaha drums! And I decided that it was my chance to try every single pedal out there because I was not tied to a company anymore. And why did I pick this model in particular? Well, you may not know him, but there's a drummer out there called Tobines or Tobines. I don't know how the fuck you pronounce his name and he gets very mad if you do it wrong. But he's one of the hardest drummers on YouTube right now and he's probably the drummer that I respect the most not only for his work but also for his work ethic and he has been using these pedals for a long time and he also has been delivering incredible performances using these pedals so I called him in order to ask him about his opinion and he was very very positive about them and then the next thing that I did was call Pearl Drums in order to ask them for some pedals to try. Personally I I was having some doubts between this version and the direct drive version but once I tried both of them I decided to stay with the chain version and that is only a personal preference okay there are no good pedals and bad pedals it's all a matter of taste so please before you buy anything impulsively try it it depends on your playing that's the most important piece of advice that I could give you right now first one the link look at this look at that flow look at how solid everything looks this is called a set link apparently it could be a fuck link for all i care this is solid this is good smells good tastes good because i look good you I look smell good, good. i yeah. feel good and make love good <laughs> The link is probably one of the most important things to me personally to look for in a double pedal because if the link sucks, the left pedal is going to suck so the double pedal is going to be a complete piece of shit and that's what caught my attention with this pedal. This link not only looks good but it also works perfectly so your left pedal is going to feel exactly like the right one and that's one of the main reasons why I picked this pedal. Now, reason number two, you can adjust every single detail that's important pedals need adjustments in order to fit your preferences so you can spend thousands of euros on a very good pedal but if you cannot adjust it properly probably the pedal is going to feel like shit so a special point number two to take into consideration before buying anything look out it should be totally adjustable and this is a master work okay you can change everything you can change the height of the beater the angle of the beater without affecting the plate the length of the plate the tension of the pedal the angle of the whole transmission this is a perfect 10 when it comes down to adjustments so that was the second reason why i picked this piece the third reason is actually pretty unbelievable to me because i've never used it before and i'm talking about the variable board okay this can be a short board and a long board at the same time and all you need in order to change are a couple of adjustments on the plate and then you will be able to switch from one to another and that's cool for me because as many of you know I play every single kind of music and not always I want to use a long board but nowadays every time that you are watching me playing metal I'm using the long board okay because it gives me way more leverage in order to play 
all of those hard songs. Now, I'm not sure about my words, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the only pedal on the whole world that offers you this possibility, okay? Both shortboard and longboard in the same pedal. That's just amazing and that's the third reason why I picked this pedal. Now, if we are talking about the beaters, they come with these beaters. They are great, but they are a little bit heavier than I expected because I was using the Yamaha ones. As you can see, they are completely fucked up and I still haven't had time to wrap my head about that transition. So I'm still using the Yamaha beaters because they are lighter, but I got no doubt that these are going to work out great in the near future. If we are talking about the spring tension, I'm actually using mid tension, okay? I may use high tension in the near future, but not right now. I'm not ready for that and I'm working on it, but although I would love to, I'm still not ready to control the high tension, okay? EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! That shit requires a lot of control and I'm still not ready for that, but I'm pretty sure that I will be very soon. If you are curious about the height of the beater, I always like to leave a couple of fingers down here. That's what she said. No time! But she did. No time! That gives you a lighter feeling and a better response and I really like it, okay? I don't like to play with my beaters right here. I prefer this configuration and the distance from the beater to the bass drum should be around 17 centimeters to fit my personal preferences. That's what she said. <laughs> and also, as you can see, there are some marks carved right here, but you are not going to have a problem if you want to use these kind of triggers right here, which by the way are the foot blaster triggers and I'm going to leave you the link down there just in case you want to try them out. I highly recommend them. And in order to finish the video, last but not least, every single piece of hardware that you are actually watching, the hi-hat stand and all the cymbal stands are also coming from Pearl. To be honest, they sent me the most expensive ones and I fucking love them. You can change everything and they are very comfortable to play, very heavy and you are not going going to see a cymbal move whenever you are hitting it. So yes, I joined the Pearl Drums family and if I gotta be honest, I'm in love with every single piece of gear that they have sent me. I'm going to leave you the link to all of these products in the description just in case you want to try them out. Please don't forget to try Dramio for 30 days for free in order to participate on the giveaway. Thank you for listening to me. It's been an absolute honor being here talking to all of you and I really hope to see you all very soon on the next video buddies. Stay safe and take care. See you soon.